Are you ready to murder some people, Bryce? Absolutely. Are you ready to commit homicide? I want to get in jail after this. Oh, do you know what's so fucked? Tell Um, me. On the weekend just gone, my mum just naturally and casually, after something about the weather, was like, yeah, that kid you went to with, he's murdered his mum. Uh... He's he's gone. Yeah, he's he's in jail for a while now. Oh, oh my whoa! I was like, okay, yeah. Whoa! So look, um, you're listening to God is dead. Welcome. Yeah. Hi, Jesus. My name's Campbell Walker. I'm Bryce Mills. And usually we stay that dark. So that's that's it. Uh, that we're gonna leave that as the intro, I guess. Yeah. Why not? I don't Google that. But um, <laughs> listen, I fuck. May even have to beep some shit out. Um, if we're editing, let's let's beep out maybe the. I don't know. Keep, keep it vague. But um, yeah, yeah uh, look, this is a podcast where we find things from the internet, from the world around us, and we say these things prove that we've got no hope, there's no God, everything's bleak, uh, but we're not always right. So look, don't don't feel like you're going to be depressed after this. It's it's a journey and it's hopefully fun. Hopefully we'll hold your hand through it. Now, you've got a case that you're going to present first. I think it's regarding emails. Well, yeah, I've been sending a lot more this year. You obviously know about email culture Whoa. and like office culture. Um, <laughs> so, you know, it actually sparked from a discussion about what's the most appropriate email sign-off you know regards thanks whatever but there is apparently a way to both you and i have had to hustle emails and chase people apparently there's a way we weren't considering that might be more powerful than we have strong opinions on this great all right that's a young yuppie (laughs) and then afterwards i want to i don't know we've been we've we've had a bit of a theme of maybe some like self-help i think stuff going through lately yeah um which could be because i don't know maybe also because i'm a yuppie but (laughs) like we love it there is i've come across a guy who's a healer but his methods are somewhat stripped back Uh uh-huh let's say minimal Beautiful. Everything on Instagram, if the visuals got it said not clickbait, or on YouTube here you can see, and it's been consistent as shit too. People that didn't think we could do it, hey, we well, here we are in the studio with the you'll notice the um for continuity, there's a lot more shit on the floor now and there's a dead <laughs> plant behind us now. So there's these aren't all being pre recorded at the same time. Yeah, whoever you know? said these plants were fake, you're fake. Yeah, exactly. So how about you learn to not accuse people of fake stuff and we hate fake friends. So with that being so said, this is a drama free podcast. All right, Let's go. <laughs> God is dead. Case one. The most powerful email reply. Emails. I man, I'm not very good at this stuff. <laughs> Electronic mail. Yeah. Look, I, I off the top, what is the most appropriate email sign off? Like nine exclamation marks and four smiley faces. <laughs> if you're me, <laughs> please I, reply. <laughs> please don't hate me. Please don't hate me. That's that's actually straight up how I email. I am. Um, if it's all good, yeah. hey, all good. If not, but um, like when they've yeah. done an obvious mistake, if I could possibly ask for some money now, please. Sir. Yeah. Hey, so in the invoice, you left off a, a zero, and like <laughs> it could be my mistake. I'm probably stupid, but like just thought I'd check. And then yeah. that's a dummy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Even though you know you're right. Uh, yeah. So uh, well, well, let's, let's let's before we dive into this, what's mm. what's your email etiquette? What's like a typical Bryce? What, what's a typical Millsy email? Yeah, oh, Christ. Um, <laughs> Millsy's happening. <laughs> Millsy's mail. happening. Drop a Millsy <laughs> in the comments. You know, there's been some people doing that uh, on my fucking uh, non-podcast work. I which think is... you mean some real ones. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'd say it's a nice compliment. Um, that you'd Hell be yeah, listening. a couple of Mills heads out there. <laughs> yeah, maybe. I don't know what we're calling that. But um, <laughs> nah, I, uh, it, it, it's one of those ones I think... Uh, Fuck, I'm not doing emails heat, so I'm so rattled by the Millsy thing. Um, it's really actually destroying Do you me. Sign off, Millsy. <laughs> this is this video is gonna be in five years after the God is Dead Empire is in a massive public lawsuit. Like, where did the where did the cracks form right now? Um, at this exact moment. Um, sign off, chill vibe, yeah. emails. <laughs> Yours in chill. Uh, Mahalo. Chillsy. And a shocker emoji. emoji. <laughs> I look, nah. I, I, yes, love you. I, I could try that shit. I used to be a, a just a cheers type person. I think thanks for me is a bit um, plastic and oh, a bit. It's a bit passive aggressive. It's the full stop of a thank you. you know? Yeah. Thanks, um, I guess. I'll go like cheers or just like. Do you ever um, do a TYSM four X's in a row? That's just me. I don't, but you, you could, you have more like. You know, you live in the art world. It's anything goes. As an artist. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> my, uh, this was like, um, I, I, I sent my email up at a looser time in my life, Bryce. But I, you know how you got your first name and your last name for my catch all email, like, which is hey3wise at struthless.com. Yeah. 
uh, it, the first name is Struthless and the last name is XOXO. And oh, that's I just, right. I just haven't changed it forever. So yeah. even when like if a client emails that catch all, if I'm ever writing yeah. back, it just comes up with XOXO. Which kind of was like cute when it was like you were doing a video for a little local um, beer company in Australia, but now it's like international clients. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, oh, fuck. Does this humor translate? Does it translate? Like, remember Gossip Girl? Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no one remembers Gossip Girl? <laughs> yeah. All right. So this, 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 what this proves is like there is so many ways to handle an email and no one knows the real answer. Everyone's scared that they've got it wrong. That's why we want to introduce, uh, well, this this is a follow-up. This Sorry, this is a synopsis of some advice from Chris Voss, who is... Um, I know exactly who that is. A Wall Street Journal bestseller. Yeah, he was an FBI hostage negotiator for a very long time. Mm. Mm. He and you know that... Never split the difference. Yeah, emailing your landlord's like a hostage situation, apparently. <laughs> so... Let's see uh, what he has to say. Here's the most powerful email follow-up you can send. This is from Never Split the Difference by Chris Voss, a former FBI negotiator. Instead of saying, just checking in, say, have you given up on this? It creates a strong- <laughs> Have you given up on this? Dude, I have that. I get those emails because- Really? Uh, yeah, yeah, this is the thing. This is the thing that never used to happen until like I, I started posting on like a, a YouTube channel, right? Right. And now that I have that, it's all fucking like Skillshare, Audible, like all the freaking, you know, League of Legends, all the classic ads that you'd ever possibly get. Yeah. And they've just got these bots on that are like, hey, this might sound weird, but have you ever thought about running a course? And then I'll be like, hey, just checking. Have you given up on this? Have wow. You given up on this? Man, man. It's rattled you. I am going to double this case with a fucking gnarly chain after this. Okay, wow. Yeah. So look, what I, I'll see what else he has to say, but it sounds like this pretty powerful shit. Just checking in, say, have you given up on this? It creates a strong reaction, which makes people reply every time. Every time, and you know, I was man when I was grinding in the fucking um in the in the fucking times, I was um having to send a lot of like. You send like an example of, you know, what you can do and they just don't reply. And it's like, hey, just like following up. Hey, just checking, just checking. And I never used have you given up on this. And I wonder if I would have been a few years ahead of the game if I did. 100% Bryce. Hey, Bryce. Yeah. Have you given up on this? <laughs> it's a powerful reaction that I'm getting. So what you, you say you're receiving this email. I want to show you. I want to show you one, and this has genuinely come up very organically, and I totally forgot about this, but it fucking oh, it just made me laugh. Uh, it was Instagram DMs. Oh, classic. Um, where's me? Which which vary so far, and like you know, the way people approach them. Yes. Oh, this is it. Oh, this looks like someone's been pounding you. Yep. Um. Okay. So here it goes. They go. Hey hand up emoji i loved this post and then sent me my most recent post which was at the time i think i just posted like 10 weird pictures you Picture know, like dump. those, yeah dumping a phone roll type things and yeah. it says i am cringe but i am free yeah and it's like no you didn't that was just my most recent post yeah and he goes we found with other clients when you do chat over the phone using ctas call to actions that's your favorites uh to get people to message you and engage in sales conversations over chat keeps going uh, your sales will increase exponentially. There's two more best practices that I'd recommend if our clients blah, 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 blah. I can make a quick video. Uh, I can make a quick video if you'd like me to share. If yes, what email do I send it to? Really like what you guys do. Happy to add value in any way I can in getting you more leads and ROI for e-com. Then like, I just don't reply. because Of course. There, there's nothing there. And then they send back, hey, is everything okay? This amount. Oh, yeah, yeah, dude, yeah. the gym tried that to me. Yeah. They're like, we well, noticed you haven't been here. Is everything okay? Right. Well, fuck you. <laughs> mental it's health. It's not. <laughs> Is your mental health okay? <laughs> yeah. And then like the next the next day, hey, it was something I said confusing, like oh. kind of unsure face. And then, then it was on Wednesday. So that was Monday, Tuesday. Now Wednesday. Hope this brightens your day. Images can see. Images to blur you, to protect you. So I tap it. And it's like Google Image Kitten. Yeah. Like it's... it's also, yeah. There's like nothing to it. Hope this image brightens your day. Smiley image. face. <laughs> and then Thursday, the next day, hey, by the way. And then it's just like a screenshot of all the leads they got. Can I send you a quick vid on how you're doing this? Think you guys could do it too. I promise it won't be more than two minutes. I promise. Oh. And then it keeps going. I, I just only want to send it if you know someone that can watch it. Then they send, hey, is everything okay? This is the next day. I haven't heard back from you. And then the final day, and this is this this is just the nail in the coffin for me. I write, I text, and still dot, 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 nothing, crying face. What do you need most right now? If I can't help, I'll be the first to tell you. Whoa. So desperate. Where is that being learned? Because they're using all the e-com buzzwords, you know, CTA, ROI, all that shit. And like, you know... I, add value it's always these these mfs that like are like 
you know prepubescent and somehow have a suit and they've like <laughs> they've like read the wolf of wall street will be like yeah i can add value to tell people how you can add value and that word is so overplayed they got the fade and the fucking watch and the yeah <laughs> and the fucking yeah 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 <laughs> but look i i think with that being said we've just got to figure out once and for all we're gonna judge this <laughs> what the hell's going on regards milsey <laughs> fine judgment if you have never listened to the pod before, this is the part of the podcast where we ask, does the content that we have reviewed prove whether or not God has, in fact, abandoned us all and left us to die? Mm. Bryce Millsy Mills. Mm. <laughs> yes, Campbell <laughs> Cunt Walker. <laughs> uh, it's actually C unit. The I is pronounced. No, uh, Bryce Millsy Mills. Is God dead? Man, I... Well, you know, I think email culture is, is pretty rampant and it's pretty godless right i'll tell you what else is godless wanting to kill email dead like slack culture. oh yeah yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> we're killing email yeah just like i think you know we, there's a problem it's in the news at the moment there's like a problem in the world where no one's truly clocked off like you know mm. you're getting up and the first thing you do is check your work email you're at home and you're on slack and blah 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 and that's all still work especially even the creative industry it happens everywhere but I think, you know, especially when, like, you're a freelancer or whatever. Mm. Um, so, you know, th this is just confusing. I think, look, have you given up on this? <laughs> I will say there's a bit of a liveness to, like, the ballsiness of kind of... If someone sent that to me, I would, like, I would, I would have a reaction. This guy has said a promise a reaction. I would have a reaction. Would it be a good one? I don't know. I would not write back, personally. I'd be, I'd I be freaked out. Either, but then again, like... I'm a little beta cock. Possibly. So I want to say just in general that, that there's some deadness. I think God is dead. Look, I, I think it's the blind leading the blind. No one knows how emails work. How do you feel about the guilt tripping DMs? I write, yeah. I text and still nothing. Man. Tell me what you need. I just want it. your money. Hate it so much. There's people that, you know, um, there's... Even on a personal level, it'd be like, right, so you didn't reply, right? Um, oh, it's the same. Yes, I'm not good enough. Energy is the dudes who message girls and then like, hi, when hi, 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 hi. Okay, you ugly bitch. Yeah, like, exactly. You know, exactly. I was like, whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah. Um, I didn't fucking want to get, I was actually joking anyway. My friend took my phone for, yeah. a, week, for a week. <laughs> for a week. So fuck you, actually. Super normal behavior. Yeah. And I'm actually, I could fuck anyone right now. I'm just like bored. So yeah, fuck you. Like, no, no, no. So look. <laughs> Imagine that on the email. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Have you given up on this? <laughs> I've, well, fuck you, you ugly dude. <laughs> Yeah, well, fuck you. You're actually a stupid company with no money anyway. <laughs> like, yeah. You're probably like a three out of ten. <laughs> yeah, I could do so much better, but I'm just bored. Um, so, yeah, I, I think this whole culture is pretty messed up. I think anyone listening has had a peripheral experience of this, whether it be you're the person who's, like, trying to chase up someone or you're the, you're the person receiving the guilt trip. Um, do we go deeper? Do we smash capitalism? <laughs> maybe maybe it's... Um, that we're uh, all just chasing these dollars and treating each other like robots. Transactions, Bryce. Yeah, it's, it's worth investigating, you know, email culture. Um, there's so many things wrong with it. We could do a whole case on it. I think I'm going to say that there's some deadness and that we can't, we can't have this in our society. No. So how would you reinvent the way that we talk to each other professionally and online? If people could do it the way they actually speak, that'd be sick. Like people that email like, hello, Campbell, I am very good. How are you? <laughs> like uh, no one no one talks like that. Use a contraction, motherfucker. Like hit hit an apostrophe up. Like you know how to. <laughs> They're free. You, 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 this ain't an essay, you know. Stop fucking, stop fucking soliloquizing my shit. You know what I mean? Like, uh, what would get your attention if somebody wanted if somebody wanted a slice of the mills? Yeah. What would they have to drop? Do you know what they need to drop? Like, they need to they need to drop a, a slice of like that they give a fuck. Like Whoa. you can't be you you can't be shooting your shot has to be considered, right? So like Some Gary V shit, bro. Hell yeah. <laughs> you know, it's like don't be hitting someone up. I remember someone one time sent me a um a fucking thing and was like, Hello, can you help me? <laughs> and I was like, what does that Have mean? You given up on me? Yeah. Have you given up on me, Christ? <laughs> I was like, man, I I don't, you're not actually asking me what you want help with. Like, do you want help with fucking, who knows? So it's like, sh show some examples. Go, hey, I am a young CEO with $20 million <laughs> and this is an example of the business I've been trying to run. Do you have any uh, advice? And we're like, no, I don't because I'm not a businessman. But thanks for like hitting me up with some examples. Not just, hello, I want you to give me the blueprint to a company. Like, you know. 
Can't be doing that. What about you? What if you had to email somebody who, I don't know, who's someone that you like? Uh, Nathan Fielder? Na- that was exactly who I had in my head, actually. Hell if yeah. you had to email Nathan Fielder himself yeah. and you're like trying to get his attention, what would you do? Oh, I'd be so nervous. I think I would... <laughs> Can you help me? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Nathan. <laughs> it's me. Mm. It's so tricky, isn't it? I think all you can do is actually be genuine and don't try to do any tactics because i think people can smell the tactics especially when you're at that level of nathan like so many people that so many slime balls like hey man love the show okay so like i'm actually like you know here's what i'm thinking your show but i'm in it (laughs) yeah (laughs) what do you think well come on so like yeah i reckon they've just they can smell that shit from a mile away if you're coming from a place that maybe even reminds them of who they once were you know Damn, bro. Like, yeah, damn, I know bro. 10 years ago you were trying to do something like this. Here's my thing. And you just hit it, like, normally, actually. I don't know. Life. You probably get a lot of this shit and probably send a lot of that shit. Like, when you're trying to collab and, like, pitch you pitch your work to, to companies, to whoever, do you have a, a, a boss FBI hostage negotiation terrorist uh, negotiator tactic? I already told you all my secrets. It's nine exclamation marks ah, and six smiley faces, It man. cuts through the noise. Yeah, yeah. I am, I am so... Freaking subservient in emails, and I can't figure out why. I think it's just eggshell gang hangover. Yeah. I'm just like, nobody yell at me. <laughs> nobody yell at me. <laughs> yeah. What, you're acknowledging reality? No, I'm just telling you my feelings. <laughs> well, get the fuck out of that. <laughs> I'm just saying. If that- you can't handle the kitchen. Wait, no, I fucked that up. Well, there goes the flow. Fuck it. Damn. Case over. Case closed. All right. Emails. God is dead. Wait, we, we hate it. Yeah. Oh, no one hurt me, please. <laughs> God is dead. Case two. Brazzo the gazer. What? What is a gazer? Oh, I'm so glad is you asked. Like <laughs> staring? Yes, stare. Well, it's not staring, Bryce. That's staring. Gazing oh, is gazing. gazing. It's, sure. it's an entirely different craft. See this? This right here, me looking into your eyes. This is staring, but this, this is gazing. Do you notice the difference? I actually thought the gazing was more scary than the staring. <laughs> <laughs> you kind of went more like locked on. <laughs> I thought gazing is more soft. Like it's like. You know, mm. and staring is like, mm. like yeah. <laughs> yeah. Calm down, spooky man. Like you never like Dan. That that guy was gazing at me on the bus. You're always no, like no. Dan. That creep was like staring. That's straight up staring. Well, this guy Bratzo, the gazer, he gazes and it heals people. So oh world- no, yeah. like there's you're silent staring. You can like do that in the park in Sydney or like wherever. Yeah, it's it's pretty bizarre. So this guy is a Croatian man born in 1967 who has not spoken in public since 2004. Mm-hmm. His shtick is that he gets up on stage in front of thousands of people and just stands there, gazes, and people gaze back and they just look oh. at him back and then they claim that, oh, he cured my diabetes. Oh, my son had PTSD. It's cured that now. Oh, I, I had like a toothache that was like, I've had pain for like eight years. Now it's gone just because I stared at this guy. Oh, And my because God. of all this anecdotal evidence, people have started kind of deifying this guy and so when they rock up to his events they now have photos of brazo and candles and they hold it like it's a vigil Uh. and the hype is so what would you call it like a self-fulfilling prophecy like the hype fuels itself to the point where he's now being given like peace awards and being like spoken in the un like not on what yeah it's so strange man so i was like all right i need to dive into brazo yeah does it work does it work through video yeah well that's where we'll end up oh wow this is like or this reminds you of lottery manifestation yeah it's, it's, all beats. yeah similar energy only the difference between this guy and like you know the faith healers who are like you're healed and then they like smack you Be on gone, the head yeah exactly. get out of her exactly i'm getting that's that guy John 316 you have to donate 316 the power of christ compels yeah, you yeah, what's his name peter something oh uh, i know there's a, there's a famous one there's a really famous one i call you done I call you Don Gone. You come down from your In place of authority, destroyer. You come down and you crawl on your oh, belly gosh. like God commanded you when he put his foot on your head in the Garden of Eden. Oh, oh, Kenneth Popeland. Is that the guy from the doco? The kids that go to the camp and like, no, there's a doco about that where the kids go to this camp and they're like crying and like, because they're always like singing like, <laughs> Jesus, get the devil out of him. Like, ah, 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 
like, you know, because we did that one case about that kid who's like, I was blind. And then like this oh. guy like hit him on the forehead and this kid was like eight. And then like s- like eight years later, the kid yeah. was like, oh, actually, it turns out I'm still blind. I think I was just swept up in the moment. Fuck. And it's like, because yeah. there's, there's people that pull up to these things in a wheelchair and he's like, get up, get the fuck up. Yeah. And they're like, oh, like, yeah, yeah. And there yeah. was one case of one of those dudes who like had an earpiece the whole time and people would fill out a survey and then he'd oh. be like, you and seat. 4B in the bed of, he's like you're suffering from hip replacement blah 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 that happened to me um actually I know that feeling because mm-hmm. um I went to this is not meant to sound fucked but I went to this um red carpet <laughs> event <laughs> you and, celebrity uh, Bryce are you no, famous no are you famous Bryce no I, th- th- this is how I know that it's it's not because <laughs> so they were like I went to like collect the ticket and they're like oh Bryce Mills and I was like you don't fucking no, I am. Like, no, we do, we do. And then I was like, almost You're Nova, right? But then, lol. But then, um, at the other part of the carpet, the guys like, hey, Bryce, and I realized they've all got earpieces and they like are probably talking to each other. Mm. It's like, make him feel welcome. It's Bryce. Like, I don't know who the fuck he is. Just his name's Bryce. Bryce like, Millsy Mills. Uh, yeah, <laughs> it's from God Is Dead uh, <laughs> from the Jamster episode. <laughs> um, and that's from that's Sex how you, in the gym. yeah. <laughs> So yeah, um, Max, we get Central Coast grammar. We need him to do a sex noise he on stage. Head boy. Yeah, we need a sex noise on stage. Just get it out of him. We need a stat. Yeah. So um, yeah. I the earpieces is a sneaky move. Okay. Put it that way. Well, this guy, there is no such sound in in what he does, and that is what is so genius about him is he doesn't do anything. Wait, so no sex noises at the gazing event? <laughs> <laughs> Gone wrong. Just gaze. Yeah. <laughs> so this 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 is a, a brief little introduction. Okay. He's got a very familiar face. Brazzo is a man from Croatia who has not spoken to the public since 2004. Instead, he stands on a podium and silently looks at the people who stand in front of him. Mm. His gaze seems to lift people to a level of consciousness where anything is possible. (laughs) That's the start Uh, of his DVD. It's so good, man. It's literally just the context. Like, man... Gaze at your gaze at your wife before and after divorce. Like you're gonna have a different feeling, right? It's context is fucking everything. It's like gaze at the guy who you know is gonna cure your cancer. Then like, yeah, look, you're probably gonna feel euphoric, but gaze into the eyes of your like, I don't know, of your landlord that's trying to kick you out. You're not gonna feel anything. Well, it's pretty crazy because like as he's doing this, he really like the the halo effect kicks in and people kind of start rationalizing everything about him. Yeah, right. And the big one that I would find hard to rationalize with any person who like puts themselves into that I uh, you know panacea quite kind of category where like mm. I can heal anything and everything yeah. is humility. There is no humility there. Right. But here's what his fans say. Brazzo is someone who actually would never call himself a healer. Do you have any specific healings that you know of that have taken place through this time with Brazzo? Um, a, a boy who was having PTSD uh, traumatic episodes mm-hmm. often mm-hmm. and the very first time that I saw Brat so I happened to think to bring him in and from that moment forward he hasn't had another one. I actually had no more pain I've been dealing with so much pain in my right foot because of my injury with, to my right foot. I had this terrible toothache but oh god I hate to be here but maybe I'll you know never know maybe I'll heal it and I was just it's, oh. Oh God! This is I'm saying to her, and I said, "Oh, geez, take me, Jesus, take me, Jesus." That type of thing. And all of a sudden, it just poof, and it, it just kind of disappeared. And and um, I was like, oh, oh, it's gone. So all of a sudden, I felt better in my spine, and I'm also, oh, I can move my hips around and stuff. My back. That sounds really very, hurt. very comprehensive. Yeah. <laughs> very comprehensive. <laughs> not a gazing. healer. Not a healer. I'm not a healer. I'm not a healer. I just do eight live streams a day. <laughs> wow. So. The question I had after seeing all this is, is there any scientific evidence to this? Right. Right. And one, so uh, the, the, the scientist said, um, I'll get it, um, a lady called Karen Stolls now um, wrote that uh, since all reports of healing are anecdotal and that Brazzo's alleged healing abilities have never been proven under test conditions, she says that there's no scientific evidence that Brazzo's gazing has any health benefits at all. Yeah. But to be fair... They've never done it in like a controlled environment. So we no, can't exactly. say yeah. for sure and anything. I saw a one uh, comment on it that I was like, okay, I guess that might have it, which was the fact that they're all just standing in silence in what like replicates meditation would have some sort of yeah, yeah, like, for sure. calming effect on the body. 
Um, but, yeah, like it releases a nice chemical or something. We don't know. Yeah. Fuck, like. But, yeah, there might be, but who knows. But here's the thing. In his DVD, they do interview scientists, but have a... Okay, so this guy, I'm going to read out the subtitles because here's what one of the scientists says. And there this is, is obviously in the uh, one of the scientists hired by Brazzo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And there's quite a few of these and there's also celebrities. And But like what you find with all the quotes, they don't actually say anything. So this person says, there is certainly a non-verbal communication between people through electromagnetic fields. This is Professor Dr. Vladimir Parr, a physicist in Croatia. Uh, these, as in... Uh, these the are, fields or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Are connections, yeah, are potentially much stronger in some people. Like mm. that is so soft. It's potentially this. There is certainly this. This is this, it, yeah. it's like they're not actually saying anything. And the more that you like dig into mm. these testimonials, the more you're like, hmm, it's I like, don't know if there is anything here. I mean, it's like me saying like when I went to the concert, I felt really happy. So Childish Gambino cured my depression. Yeah. Like, well, no. Yeah. Being happy felt good. Yeah. <laughs> and like, that's normal. <laughs> like... Brazzo was a fascinating figure and he is not making neither religious nor political statements. He's not making any that's statements. That's a sus opening line too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Brazzo simply gazes and lets go in silence and the energy that pours from his eyes. I've been enormously impressed with Brazzo's spiritual healing efforts. Okay, that guy's kind of a bit mm-hmm. of a Brazzo stan. And the Naomi Campbell one, what does she say? She's got a long quote. Yeah, she does. Must be a fan. For me, the most important thing in the world is to help others and to share what you have. And that's the message that I get. I'm so happy to see him share it. Thank you so much. Like, it's not like this guy is a definitive healer. Yeah, yeah. No one wants to claim it. Yeah, which I think is kind of interesting. I wonder where I recognize this guy's face. I feel like my dad would believe this stuff. Yeah. And he's not like a... I'm not that saying like he would be falling for it. I'm just saying I yeah. think he, he does believe in energy and stuff like this. Yeah. And I'm not, you know, here to freaking... No, neither. Consciousness Let's, party shame we or can, anything. We'll, we'll get to it in the judgment. We will. This, we this will. is just fascinating. When we become judgmental. Mm. But interestingly enough, he says... Do not come to my events if you're pregnant. Like, this is how Oops. powerful his oh my gaze, God. Like, gaze It's is. like eating tuna or, like, fucking yeah. drinking wine, but also don't stare. Guys, don't do it. And since Brad, so that he's actually um, spawned quite a few copycats. So, people w- where they just do eye-gazing videos like this. With uh, 90 views. 93 oh, views. Oh, they all count. All and, like, a weird, like, halo edit. Hey, halo sort of glow. Yeah, the vignette. Yeah. On the, yeah. So, we've got that. we got this guy. I they all do this. Oh, they turn to you. Yeah, they all do the turn. It's all about a freaking little moment. Nine likes, one dislike on this one from Eric. I'm going to be ten likes. Hell yeah. Boom. We know what's up. All right. And then this guy. Oh, no. Same same dude. dude. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. But But now he's shrouded in like autumnal leaves. Yeah. The turn's so good. The turn. Oh, it's so good. And the comments on like his video are so nice. Such an inner strength. A wonderful man. I love it. Thank you, brother. Coffee cup. Plus for you, coffee cup. (laughs) <laughs> no words it keeps going and so i was like man there's got to be something sus about this guy yeah like this dude i feel like he's pulling the wall over people's eyes i just the skeptic in me cannot believe it yeah then you get to this so bright so learned his gazing techniques from a master gazer right? uh-huh yeah a guy named Pro- prokic i ain't good with my my croatian pronunciations um, but he gave him the name Bratso, meaning little brother. Now, Prokic, I'm just going to roll with that, died in 1995 while on holiday with Bratso. Mm-hmm. The two were alone on a beach in South Africa when Bratso says a rogue wave swept Prokic away after he had first taken off all the gold jewelry he traditionally wore along uh-huh. with his socks and wallet. Uh-huh. Hmm. I mean... Sounds so, like a freak accident. Sounds like a freak accident. Here's this guy whose job you might want to usurp. Here's this guy wearing a lot of gold jewelry who has a wallet who suddenly gets swept up by a freak wave while the only people there are you and him. And you're there. It's like you're the prince and he's the king and you're yeah. like looking for that crown. And no one can get a word out of you because your whole shtick is not speaking. I don't know, man. Did he kill the master? Did he? We don't know. We don't. But we- hey, that's... We're suddenly becoming like a my favorite uh, murder podcast <laughs> or whatever. I never listened to that Get stuff. Get Brazo kill pro kids. Yeah. Yeah. So I thought the best way to end this case would be to uh, determine whether or not this works. So I've pulled up one of his oh, live sick. streams Great. and we're going to watch it. See if Brazo works for us. Okay. He's in a very decadent stone kind of 
marble. It's because he has like a hundred grand a day to look at people. <laughs> Whoa, yeah, when you got that much money. He takes a walk. His fashion's quite fun. Yeah, like loafers, <laughs> jeans, and then the, <laughs> the paisley shirt. How could you? How, <laughs> you're the not pre- zoom in. Yeah, you're not pregnant, are you? No. Thank God. But and he just I might be after this. Yeah, let, let, let's lose ourselves. No. Lose ourselves. <sighs> Are you feeling it? He's not really looking at me. He's looking at me like off center. Yeah, come on, man. You Maybe that's what a gaze is. Yeah. Maybe staring. I'm like, what's behind me? You know? <laughs> let's um let's probably try lose ourselves and then we'll cut back in like three minutes later. Alright. I mean, the music's making me relax. The music's so fucking good. <laughs> <laughs> like... <laughs> Ooh, loo, loo, loo. He's got to stand there for, like, all that time, too. It's pretty bonkers, man. Hey, right. He's got a gold chain on underneath. You can just see it. I like it. <laughs> wonder where he found that. <laughs> Oof. How do you feel? Do you feel energized? No, I just Are feel like... Healed? I feel, like, calm, but, Is you know... Is the baby in your uterus melted? Possibly, I should check that out. But yeah. like, you know, melt, uh, you know, relaxing and staring. Like, sure, I think sure it, it could be fine. But like, it's okay, I guess. I don't know if he's the guy f- for me. Let's judge. Fine, judgment. So, Brazzo the gazer, he's um worldwide phenomenon, and he's changed lives. So let's just keep all that in mind before we say, does he prove God's? Dead or alive. Brazzo is God, isn't it? I, that's the thing. It feels like, are we actually casting a judgment on a demi-god themselves or like a, a powerful figure? This could be our hardest one yet. Yeah. Um, I think that uh, ooh, ooh, God is alive. And it's okay. because as long as people believe him, I think that there's going to be this self-fulfilling prophecy. I think like faith and optimism are both really, really beautiful but kind of not available to cynics and skeptics. Mm -hmm. And I think that they have healing properties for sure. And I think if he happens to facilitate those feelings within people, then I say he's doing no wrong. If he did murder the guy who taught him these incredible staring techniques, Mm. he's probably probably not the guy deserving of all this like love. Yeah. I I agree with you. The only thing that um, is purely speculation um, don't you always worry that, like, all of those types end up getting exposed later for, like, you know, there was actually a cult and, like, a sex cult happening in their house and, like, they had nine wives and they kind of tricked them into being there, you know, like... It's so rare that you'll get somebody who is just a beautiful human and, you know... And also being praised by thousands and millions in a, in that kind of way who's also not let it, like, fuck with their head or, or just wasn't already fucked to begin with. So, I, yeah... He's got, like, merch and shit, dude. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, look, assuming that's that's not happening, then, like... Look, I agree. Like, you can't say that if someone has a toothache that's killing them and then they don't have it anymore after this, you can't say that's a bad thing, even if it is fake, whatever, or if it's just the power of the mind. Like, we don't know. We can't sit here and say it's not happening because you can't see it. Um, but if, if, if people feel like it's doing something for them and there's no other consequences, like they haven't had to pay him a huge sum, maybe they go to the, no, the I mean, tickets. Like, there, there are a lot of stories about people just paying 10 bucks for a ticket. Right. And, and then, yeah. Quite a, I don't know, thousands of people rock up. All yeah. with big stare. He used to just do one on one, and then he changed to groups, and then he'll do like eight sessions a day. Oh shit! Well, there you go. Like, I don't know. I, I think if if it's no harm other than that, then we just got to let it happen. Damn. Yeah. Okay. What I really love about him is he's taken the model of healing, which previously required so much either like research or charisma, yeah. or something, and he's just stripped it back to the point where he just walks out onto the stage, beautiful hair, yeah, stares. No research required. Yes, like that's genius. Yeah, yeah. Oh, we look. If he's if he's playing us, then we we got played hard. But fuck it, man. If if I can get played, but also be able to walk again, mm. then like I'm I'm getting played. I suppose. Shit. You're pro Brazzo. I yeah. Based on that, based on that, I'm gonna say God's alive. Hell yeah. And you can see our gazing vids. At Instagram.com slash God is dead, not clickbait. <laughs> <laughs>
Uh, there we go. Monday, run, 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 and get on that money, son. Let's Ho- absolutely hope you go. got your Brooks on. Yeah, absolutely. Got we your friggin' Asics. Mizunos. Left foot Brooks, right foot. <laughs> Arch support with the Asics. <laughs> Hell and yeah. Tread with the Brooks. Foot Locker coming in hot with the Spono. Yeah, thanks to the homies at Foot Locker for and hooking up an excellent pod. <laughs> nah, just absolutely <laughs> kidding. We have no sponsors, no money that we make on the pod, but yep. that, we that used might to have change. one, but then we made a podcast about eating your own shit and they all pulled out. Yeah. Yes, that's a famous story. I don't know if we've gone into it, but um, we we were like, the only time we've been offered a brand deal was um, the week before we did a video, the cum vape and the <laughs> eating the poo sandwich, because it was locked down and we were all just like, we were fucked. And, and then we get an update like, hey, look, the CEO looked at your Instagram and they were <laughs> very, very upset. So like, we won't be going forward with that. I'm like, okay, goodbye. So goodbye. Um, clearly, since then, clearly they hadn't been gazed at. Yeah, I mean, also, all clearly they hadn't tried a delicious shit sandwich. Maybe you know? we should have been like, are you giving up on this? Yeah. <laughs> Just <the> Fuck. <laughs> Damn it. Well, look, um, with that being said, you know, no money gang means that you got to be um, at least throwing some five stars or telling a friend or something, man. Hell yeah. Chuck it on your stories. We'll friggin' repost it. Oh, you know what it is. Yeah, and we check our personal shit more, Cam. Struthless69. Well, I'm back on the friggin' gram after taking like a month off to write a book. That's the first I've actually announced it. Dude, yeah, you guys get the exclusive. Um, and uh, that's that's on everything. So look, hell yeah, follow Bryce, Bryce V Mills, and keep an eye out for the. the uh, I'll be using my um, gazing technique to make you when we do the book tour. <laughs> I'm in, in, interviewing you on stage, like, whoa, I don't like that answer. <laughs> Let's go deeper than that. Let's go. Um, I won't even be saying anything. I'll just be staring. Yeah, at yeah. the audience, and they'll just all buy the book. Uh, that's my help. Yeah. That could be a tactic to try out. But um, Maybe. yeah, YouTube. Um, please share that, subscribe to it, etc. You if know you, what it is. Yeah, if you like our shit, um, just get on that and you know we're getting those transmissions down and shit so like we keep saying man if we do keep growing we could maybe get a brand deal or <laughs> <laughs> the pinnacle of online creation yeah could you imagine you could help us get a brand deal wow hey guys this episode was sponsored but by... wouldn't you love to hear us try to say that oh my god wouldn't no. it sound awesome we're, like we're going we're, we're, we're going for it or we, we could even going... see you at, a, at an event you never know that's the imagine if we that's what we really imagine want. if we got his dead at splendor hell yeah oh dude we should honestly yeah. let's start talking about yeah. Yeah. Right, but that means we need we need to know that there's people listening and stuff. So not to guilt trip you, but the call to actions are all in the description down below. Please, Hell yeah. Do the them. more reviews you put, the more we have for our splendor pitch deck. Yeah, and we have like we have this um obviously this thing hanging over our head where like um, you know there's there's certain suits that are saying you better you guys better fucking grow your numbers or otherwise yeah they don't let Bryce use slurs anymore. <laughs> he was trying to get cancelled. I was not trying to do that uh, just for the record. <laughs> but with that being said, that's enough from us. Um, thanks yep. for listening and shit. We'll um, we'll see you very soon. We love you. Love you. Case closed.